And we shall start with the AW Dynasty pay-per-view, which was another excellent AW pay-per-view, including that yes. damn Will Ospreay Brian Danielson match. Man, I tell you what, somebody uh I heard somebody not too long ago, I saw something and people were going like, oh, he's given out he's already given out seven five star matches this year. And it's like, do you like watch Will Ospreay? You know what I mean? It's like if you take Will Ospreay, I think probably give him two or something. It's like it's just it's just the guy's at a different level. I'll tell you what, I was watching this match and it's just like I mean, we've talked about this before, but uh man, that uh those Triple H comments, they aged like milk, like stale milk, because, man, there is no way you could watch this guy and with a, with any kind of a straight face and go like, oh, he's not good enough for us. His attitude's not good enough or any, any there's no criticism other than you blew it, you know? I mean, you didn't make a better offer, and that's that. That actually kind of got addressed in the press conference for a second, but, you know, I mean... Uh, Jesus Christ. Um, guys, and, and the funny thing is, is like last year when we had the matches with Omega, um, you know, I mean, they, they were like the two best guys and they had incredible, ma they had two incredible matches. And he's much better than he was a year ago or six months ago. I mean, he's got just more, I mean, the, athletically, is he better? Probably, probably not. But he's he knows what to do more. He's he's a lot more in control. He's got a lot more confidence, which is a major key in the business anyway. But um, his presence and his um, just charisma is just at such a higher level than it was six months a year ago. I mean, it's it's well, that's, way, that's way the way key up. thing here. I mean, everyone can talk about match and everything like that, and he is. I mean, he's going to be wrestler of the year. It's almost impossible. Uh, I, I don't know about that. I think Cody might win wrestler of the year. But, I guess, yeah, I guess that's possible. But um, he'll be most outstanding. But I mean, he'll be most outstanding. He'll have the best and, and, match. He'll have this and that. But hold yeah, on. Yeah. My, my point is this. Forget that. This guy is so over. He's so he, popular. He's so over. He's got yeah. so over with this crowd in a very short period of time. And uh, I had a lot of people, a lot of friends that went to uh, to went to the show and, uh, you know, R.D. Reynolds, who co-wrote Death of WCW with me, he goes, 40 years I've been watching wrestling, never seen a match like that in my life. I had people there that said, you know, Will Ospreay, he was the most over guy on the show by far. By you far. Know? And uh, he, 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 it, it's, I don't it's know not that... a thing where just, oh, man, he has great matches. He's, no. he's an incredible promo. He connects with the people. He is a gigantic baby face. He's incredibly over he's got everything that you would want and uh no he's he he's is. a he's a real um you know just just uh the other thing too is is how quickly he's gotten over because he's really only what you know he really started as far as this run goes i mean yeah he had those matches last year you know and, and he came in for you know the trios tournament and he had stuff here and there but i mean as far as a full-time AEW guy I mean, he started basically at the at the last pay per view with the Takeshita match, and you know it's been um, you know nothing but but great matches, but just over like crazy and more and more each week. And this was this was this was the most over he's been. It's like I mean I've seen guys you know the Rock and stuff, but I mean the Rock it took years for the Rock to get over like that. You know I mean maybe only been two years, but it took him a, you know and other guys like. You know, if, if you're going to compare it to different guys, you know, um, I mean, it took most of those guys years and years and years. I mean, yeah, Hogan on his second run, but he he had the first run. He was there for a long time. Uh, even in the AWA, it wasn't day one. It was pretty damn quick, but it still took him a couple of months, you know, and it's like this is just, uh, you know, it's he's he's just it's and, and of course, you know, comparing with a different it's a different time because. A lot of this audience had seen him in Japan. They knew who he was, so it's not like he just got over. But um, you know, still, it, it's it's just um, it's unbelievable watching that match. I mean, that match was so good on so many different levels, and um, you know, I mean, it was. One, I mean, it was one of the best matches I've ever seen. I mean, I, I would not say the best, but in as there were aspects it was the best, but. Um, there were aspects of other matches with the best too. I mean, I think that with um, 
the match that like I mean Garrett were comparing it to was the uh, the the last Omega Okada match in Osaka, and the one thing that that match had that this didn't is that the depth of the I was going to get those guys mad, but uh, the depth of the story, the depth of the creativity of that match really was better than this one in the sense that this one, I think athletically this one was every bit the same as that one. Um, the crowd was actually hotter for this one than that one. But that match, there were so many things that just were like twists and turns and drama and things like that that, uh, you know, when you really sit down and well, think about it. Well, it's an unfair comparison because that was the fourth match. And you had That's three true. other matches to build off of. That's true. And this was a first ever match. So they had no previous matches with which to build off of. Yeah, it's the first time they were ever in the ring together. Yeah. For, uh, uh, unbelievable. Um, I mean, first, yeah. Um, but I mean, I don't want to downplay Danielson because Danielson was every bit, you know, a part of this, you know. It wasn't just like a one man show by any means. I mean, these two guys, they gelled at a level that, uh, you know, you very rarely see. I mean, it was. It was probably the best match ever in the United States. I mean, I can't, I cannot come up with a match in the United States that that, uh, man. I mean, like, I can't come up with a match in the United States that I would compare it to. I mean, the best ones would probably be, I don't know, Omega Osprey. I mean, what else? Um, and this one, I, I mean, I thought this was better than than the Toronto, and that was the United States. That was actually Toronto anyway. But um, yeah, man, this match was was just different different level just different level it was and the crowd knew it the crowd was there from the start that was the other thing about it like this crowd was so hot before they even locked up so they could have gotten away with doing um you know a lot less but they just decided that they were gonna you know have this career performance and i mean when daniels when that match started and you see danielson's face and it's just like this guy's having the time of his life you know between wrestling blue panther and wrestling will osprey and these, you know, he's getting to do, he's really getting to do everything he wants in this business before he uh, goes out in a blaze of glory. Although he did say he's never retiring, but he's, this is going to be his last year at, at this level. And of course, I mean, we talked already about Danielson and Will Ospreay. Oh, we didn't talk about the finish or anything. We the, match the match was absolutely incredible. Just like the, the, the heat was incredible. It was like a magical thing. I mean, it was just, uh, you know, I mean, be lucky to see a couple matches like that in a lifetime i mean it it was you know the crowd the crowd was so good which you know propelled them to uh a much higher level and obviously these guys uh they were very serious there were so many things that happened that like just a, a, one one spot where um osprey's throwing these kicks and, and daniel's just dodging him and it's like man this is just like incredible stuff well they grappled early and the fans were just eating it up and Don Callis is on commentary. And a key point in this match is, if you listen to Don Callis, throughout this match, he's putting over Brian Danielson. Yeah. And he's nitpicking one thing after another that Will Ospreay is doing. Shouldn't be doing this. Don't let him do that. Shouldn't be doing that. Don't get cocky. The entire match, he's just, he's just picking him apart. And meanwhile... Will Ospreay's having the match of a lifetime. I think Osprey in the press conference said this was his favorite match he ever had. So he, he that's thought it was something. He he thought it was it was his he thought it was his best performance that he ever had. Yeah, and he was very like he was very confident in speaking of the match and very confident in speaking of himself because one the very first question that was asked of him was. Um, you know the Paul Levesque thing, and he, and he, you know, basis. I don't want to really deal with it. I said it. I'm not sorry. I said it. You know, I know he didn't mention my name, but it was very clearly about me, which which it was. A lot of people want to deny it, but it, it absolutely was. And um, you know, he just said that. You know, I'm the best wrestler in the world, so I don't need to be worrying about what people beneath me think. You know, very confidently. I mean, he's. Uh, um, but yeah, he said he called it. He 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 basically said that it was his favorite performance, um, and I think it was. I think it was the best match of his career. You know, and I I didn't think that I didn't think there's any way you could top the Oku match because the Oku match had that storyline that was so incredible. But uh, and 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 of course the great 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 crowd that they had in in London for the Oku match. But this topped it. Well, the spot of a lifetime was Brian puts him in this triangle, and Osprey counters with a Styles Clash. They start trading strikes. Brian hits a real 
uh, Regal Plex. Osprey pops up, hits a hidden blade, runs to hit the os cutter, and as he's going for the os cutter, Brian hit the knee right to his jaw in midair. Yeah. It was absolutely incredible. So they're both down. They each crawl to the corner. They stand up. They're facing each other. It's like a duel in the Old West. And they rush at each other. They both want to hit their big move. But Osprey beats him to the punch, and he gets the hidden blade. Brian goes down. He picks him up. He hits the Tiger Driver 91. Ref totally freaks out, calls for the doctor. But as he's doing so, Will hits the hidden blade, makes the cover. The ref just counts the pin to get it over with. And they sell it like Brian's badly injured. Brian's doing the seizure thing on the mat. They're getting referees in to hold him down and and uh, control his neck. And uh, the one thing I will say is they're trying so hard to make this seem like a legitimate serious injury. And they start to show the replay. And the owners are like, he got spiked right on top of his head. Brutal. And we, spiked right on top of his head. Right, and when you see the replay, it was, to, it was totally safe. They show the replay, and he just landed right on his back. It was, it was totally safe. Totally to- safe. Totally safe. So maybe maybe yeah. no replay for that next time. Yeah. Just say I'll it's so you- brutal we can't show the replay. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.